Welcome, this is the HMAR Mobile Tech Channel, and I'm going to show you how to test an EVAP purge solenoid on a 2004 Toyota Camry, but this test can cover a wide range of Toyotas and Japanese and American-made cars that have a similar valve that looks like this one. Uh, some of them you might have to get a little creative with, but this is a universal test. So... Let's go to the shop and let's get started. Okay, don't forget to check the canister purge valve. We're going to do a decay test on it. And what this is going to show us is that this valve can hold vacuum. Normal engine vacuum is somewhere between 20 and 15 inches of vacuum. So as you can see here, I got my Mighty Vac in this shot here connected up to where the hose is going to go that the vacuum supply comes from the engine is gonna go here. So you wanna connect it up here and then you wanna put your vacuum on it. And so I'm just gonna put it to around 20 and then just watch it for just a few minutes and make sure that you don't have any, any decay because the computer is going to be watching this and if there's even the, the tiniest bit amount of decay drop in vacuum, it's going to pick up on it and then you're going to get a fault code again for leak detected in the EVAP system, either small leak or large leak or whatever the case is. So you want to just make sure that you just do this for a few minutes and make sure that it doesn't drop. If it doesn't drop within three to five minutes, then I would say that that would suffice. And then that would, that would say that this canister purge valve is in good working condition. There is a second test that you need to do with the scan tool, which is the power and control, and to see if, you, if you're getting power to the electrical connector when you do a bi-directional control. And I've already done that, so I know that this valve is good. Um, most people don't have a scan tool, so I'm not gonna show that part, but if the connector is good, you don't have any blown fuses and everything's good, here as far as the wiring and the connector itself it's all plugged in and good then it should be fine and then it should be working and it is holding vacuum so this is a I'm gonna call this a good canister purge valve here do the basics brilliantly you did a good job subscribe like and share and watch some of my other videos thank you for watching I'll see you next time